नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल यूज नाइव बेस क्लासीफायर फॉर क्लासीफाइंग टेक्स्ट एज यू नो नाइव बेस क्लासीफायर इज यूज फॉर टेक्स्ट क्लासीफिकेशन एंड स्पैम डिटेक्शन टास्क हेयर इज एन एग्जाम्पल एज हाउ टू परफॉर्म द टेक्स क्लासीफिकेशन विथ नाइव बेस क्लासीफायर लेट्स बिगिन बाय इम्पोर्टिंग नेसेसरी लाइब्रेरीज In this case, we'll be using 20 news group data, and we'll fetch it with fetch underscore 20 news group API from sklearn.datasets library. Then we'll use tf-idf vectorizer in order to convert the text document into a set of numbers, and tf-idf vectorizer is part of sklearn.featureextraction.txt library. then we'll be using multinomial naive bayes classifier that we that we load from sklearn.naive bayes library then we have pipeline utility and confusion matrix display for model evaluation we'll be using matplotlib.pyplot for plotting for plotting the confusion matrix so i would urge all of you to read a bit more about tfid vectorizer api in the sklearn user guide here we will be using 20 news group data set for classification as a first step let us download the 20 news group data set with fetch 20 news group api so we simply call fetch underscore 20 news groups and we get the data now let's look at the names of the classes so data dot target underscore names will give you names of different classes so as name suggested 20 news group there are 20 categories in this data set for simplicity what we'll do is we'll select four of these categories at random and download training and test data set corresponding to those four categories So we have selected four categories, which are talk dot religion dot misc, society dot religion dot Christian, science dot space, and computer dot graphics. These four categories we are selecting, and what we'll do is we'll we'll fetch we'll fetch training data corresponding to these four categories using fetch underscore twenty news group uh, API by and by specifying the categories. so we are we are specifying to subset train and test so we get data set for training as well as for testing for these four categories let's look at a sample training document so we look at the sixth example in the training set and you can see that it's it is in the form of a text and this data is different what we have seen so far or what we are used to here the training data contains the text so this is one training example and uh, it has got text then there is some kind of a header and then there is some number uh, in present in the in the document now how do we handle it so in the first week of machine learning techniques course we talked about different kind of data sets like text and images when we are when we are presented with any non numeric data set we need to perform some kind of a pre processing to get that data into numeric form so here we'll be using tfid vectorizer to convert text input into a vector of numerical values so what we do is we define a pipeline object with two steps the first step is tf idf vectorizer that obtains feature vector for a given text document and then we pass that feature vector through multinomial naive bayes classifier for learning the the classification model for these four categories in order to train the model we call the fit function on the pipeline object by passing the the training data 
and the labels. And once the model is uh, once the model is learned, we use that to predict the label from test set and calculate the confusion matrix for the test set. So here we make use of confusion matrix display API and we use from underscore estimator method of this object of this class. So now here we pass the the name uh, the object uh, corresponding to the model the test feature matrix test feature uh, test labels and then the names of the classes and we also uh, specify that on the x axis the class name should be rotated uh, so that they are in the vertical format So here on your screen what you see is a confusion matrix between four different categories that we have selected out of 20 different categories in 20 news group data set. So what we see is the com.graphics is classified uh, quite well because there is much less confusion with other classes and so is the case with psi.space. Um, class. But if you observe the sock.religion.christian and talk.religion.misc, there is some amount of confusion, right? So, uh, especially for talk.religion.misc, it is getting confused with the, with the members or with the examples from sock.religion.christian. So, sock.religion.christian as such is again classified fairly well because the examples from this class are, um, are rarely misclassified. Only six examples are misclassified into the other classes. Whereas in talk.religion.misc, 187 examples or majority of examples are misclassified into sog.religion.christian. So there is a confusion between these two classes which is along the expected lines because they are talking about some uh, religion related content. The classes which are com graphics and psi.space are well separated by such a simple classifier. Now we have a tool to classify statements into one of these four classes. So for that we make use of predict function on the pipeline object for predicting category of the test string. So here we define a small function called predict underscore category that take a statement the the training set and the name of the uh, model and remember we have um, you know set these two parameters to their default values so we first call the predict function on the model by uh, using uh, this statement as an argument we get a prediction and for this prediction we find out what is the name of the class through train dot target underscore names. So let's use this function for prediction. So we want to predict category of this statement which is sending a payload to ISS which is International Space uh, Station and this is clearly uh, you know a statement from psi dot space class. Then we use another statement discussing Islam versus atheism. This is clearly uh, related to religion, so that's why it is classified into a religious content. And uh, the third statement, which is determining the screen resolution, is part of com graphics. So this is how the statements are classified into uh, respective classes. So in this video, we implemented naive-based classifier in order to classify text into different categories and we can use it in different test classification tasks.